In today's video, I started building my Bloxburg Theatre. Hey Gossettes, welcome back. How are you guys doing today? Tell me down below as usual. First up, as you can see, I have officially went into like Easter mode. I have my little Easter themed avatar on, aka some bunny ears and like an egg bag. Anyways, in today's video, we are starting quite a big project because I've decided to make a theater in Bloxburg. We are just gonna get straight into it. There's not gonna be any like build plan, blueprint type thing today because I, I don't have a plan. As you can see behind me, there is already like a very 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 large structure and that's because I started working on this build like a year and a half ago so this structure has just been sitting here for like a good year and I cannot remember what any of it's meant to be I know it's meant to be a theater I don't know what all the rooms are it's incredibly confusing to look at we're gonna go into build mode and I'm gonna show you this but yeah we're gonna try and turn this into a theater so I know this is the main entrance and we were gonna have like snacks here and like a reception area this is gonna have like two lifts then there's gonna be stairs in this section and this section and then this is the main hall so this is where all the seats will be in the big stage apart from that i have no idea what any of this is meant to be like i don't understand what this big hallway is what these bits are like what is any of this upstairs as well is so confusing so i'm just gonna try and like figure out what we're gonna do i think i'm gonna split this video into two parts maybe so the first part is gonna be like the entrance area maybe the outside of the building kind of like the main structure and the main areas and then part two will be the main kind of giant hall like the theater area maybe backstage just because this is an incredibly big build it's gonna take quite a while and if i don't split it into two parts then you're not gonna have a build video for like two weeks also if you can hear a background noise my cat is running around my room she's just kind of in here oh my god pumpkin no she's scratching my gaming chair pumpkin this is the last time i let you in here while i record i'm back pumpkin has been removed from the premises anyways so as you can see i did add like the kind of plan of like a car park on each side and like the pathway i don't know what's going on here okay the car park seems to just lead to nowhere what i'm gonna do is delete these walls though because these i placed along it's like markers so i can see like chunks of every five block like i used to do this so i kind of like break up the plot but let me get rid of that the theme we're going for for like the outside why is this not even why is there a wall here but not here oh, i don't know anyways the theme we're going for is like very kind of white stone you know how i built my castle and my like house with the white concrete stone that's what we're going for it's gonna look very posh this is meant to be like you know when cinemas have i know this isn't a cinema this is a theater but you know when they have like the board around the top where it tells you what's on and then like the little office thing here that's what i want to do so we're probably going to raise this area up with basic shapes but what i'm going to do first is just color the entire front oh my gosh i'm so nervous about this because i genuinely don't know what i'm doing i also kind of want to open this like i want to perform a theater show as a joke but i don't know how i do that right we're gonna add Add some doors now i don't know whether we should use the revolving door on each side or not because i feel like it looks weird when there's this big block in the middle so we might use these ones instead but they don't look very fancy so this is kind of what we're going for it'll have like the bricks on the corners obviously it's not going to be green ew but they have very fancy doors i kind of want to do that do we have any doors that would look like that i feel like we might need to do custom ones but i really can't be bothered because i want the doors to kind of be like a working entrance i don't want this to be difficult um what are these? No, they're too modern. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be such a long video. I can't even decide on the front door. Maybe this, because this works and we could add fancy details. Okay, wait, I kind of like that. And then we're gonna do the little window thing, like the little booths where you can buy tickets. Like this, oh my goodness, this is so cute. So it's just like a little thing where people sit in it. We're gonna do one of those, like where you can buy the tickets from the outside. Maybe we could make the booth like wooden, just so it doesn't all kind of blend in with like the concrete, like a nice nice fancy wooden booth and we can add loads of details on it. I love this one so much. Oh my gosh, we should have like fancy tiles. This is gonna take so much work, I'm gonna cry. Anyways, how are you guys doing? While I talk, I think I'm gonna work on this little ledge thing around the top just so I can see what's gonna happen on the roof here. I feel like every time I wanna start talking about something that's irrelevant to the video, I always go, how are you guys doing? And then I just dive into something completely random, which is what I'm gonna be doing today. So we are gonna talk about... <laughs> 
Monster High dolls. I'm assuming most of you will probably know what Monster High is. Monster High is this doll line that has been around since like maybe 2010, maybe slightly before that. I think that's when it started production anyways. And basically I had these dolls when I was younger. Obviously in 2010, I was six years old. Was I six? Yeah, I was six years old. Um, And I started collecting them when I was like seven in like 2011. I loved Monster High dolls so much, right? When I was that age. And I've started collecting them recently. By recently, I mean like two years ago. Again, I collect the old ones that I had, but there's like a whole new generation of the dolls and it's like completely different. They like rebranded it all. Well, not really. They just like redid all the characters and I hate it, but this, this, I won't turn this into a rant. If you want to hear me cry about generation three of Monster High, I'll do that in another video. I collect the old dolls that I used to have, which they don't sell anymore. And this obviously means they're kind of difficult to get because they're old. Some of them are like 10 years old. So I buy them online off like Vinted and stuff, which is this like secondhand site. And I have wanted the original Draculaura, which is this, she's the daughter of Dracula. She's a vampire character. She's like iconic. I love her. I used to have her. I got rid of all my dolls though. And I was so desperate to have her again. She's like everyone's favorite. She's so difficult to get for a good price and I finally succeeded and she got delivered yesterday and she's so cute. I'm gonna insert a photo because I'm way too excited for this. Also everyone always insults the way I say photo. I say photo because <laughs> I'm from northern England okay. Most of us like barely pronounce the t's in words. You guys always bully me for my pronunciation of things. I will try. It's like in my Christmas special. I had to say Hattie but my like natural instinct was to go Hattie which sounds completely weird but it's just how I say it. Anyways what was I talking about? About. um monster high last year i started planning a video kind of like a mini movie where basically i want to recreate monster high in blocksburg because they're not just dolls they also have like movies of the dolls like they'd bring out a doll line of like themed doll outfits and then they bring out a movie to go with it and it was so cool and i want to recreate it i already have all the outfits prepared i prepared them last year because i've had like a list of video ideas since i'd say like 2021 end of 2021 that i've wanted to do and i just haven't and that's one of them so i already already have like the outfits prepared and I just want to do it. I think it'd be so fun to watch. Let me know what you think if you'd find that entertaining like a Monster High movie in Bloxburg because I would just be so in my element. I actually have a similar thing coming sooner for another kind of franchise. It's not dolls though. They do have dolls of them but it's like a old kids TV show that I used to watch and I'm doing it. I'm recreating the episodes but I'm not going to spoil that one because <laughs> that one's kind of soon. But yeah, I want to do more stuff like that like builds and more kind of creative videos and me recreating stuff because I I love doing my Christmas movies every year. I'm actually doing a Halloween movie, which is something I've also delayed for like two years. I already have the script, but I think I'm gonna rewrite it. We've got some cool things coming. I'm adding some cool tile effects on the floor. I've done like the big movie thing. This <laughs> actually looks pretty cool so far, but I wanna try and have like cool tiles. Oh my gosh, wait, this kind of looks like the top of a heart. Could we do a heart? I love doing floor patterns, honestly. I'm just adding like random triangles. This is so strangely laid out. I'm just gonna make all these like individual pieces so we can and all color them like different and it looks cool. I just have to make sure it's symmetrical. I keep forgetting what I've done because it's all like blending in. Okay, enough of the tiles for now. We'll work on that later. We need to work out what to do for this booth thing because this is gonna cover up this, but I think I'm fine with that. I just need to work out a way to make it look cute. I kind of want to do, where is that other reference image? Like a dome. Also, I feel like I'm gradually trying to build with more normal colors. I'm always gonna do mainly a pink color scheme. I was talking about this the other day, but I'm slowly trying trying to make it more different and kind of show my different build styles. I do actually build in normal colors a lot. I feel like I need to show my skills more. So we're gonna keep the pink because I love to build in pink more than anything. But I also kind of want to add a bit more variety, make stuff look a bit more normal. Like I really want to do, you know when people renovate the starter houses for like videos and stuff? I've bought like two of those on a plot so that I can do that and renovate them for a video. But the reason I've got two is I think I'm gonna do one in my normal pink style and then do another one that's kind of meant to be like realistic and kind of match Bloxburg style so be like an actual you know starter house that the game could use that's not me saying they should I'm just saying I'm gonna try and match their style a bit more for the second one if that makes sense I don't know I feel like I'm doing a lot of talking today I kind of need to like focus on building that's a big issue I have like I did this like google forms a few weeks ago for you guys to give me feedback on my videos what you like and what you don't like and so many people were like oh my gosh can you like talk about normal things like as in random topics instead of just about the build and I was like yeah sure I can do that I'm very good at talking about random things but the issue I have is I either get so focused on the build that all I talk about is the build or I get so focused on talking about the completely random topic I just like move my camera in a circle around the build because I'm so distracted by talking
thing. So I'm trying to stay focused whilst also talking about completely random subjects. But yeah, I'm trying to do a good mix of talking about the build and talking about other things in my videos that interest people a bit more. I also have a vlog channel. So if you guys want to see like in real life me talking about completely random subjects, then you can go there as well. I mean, I barely post on it, but I'm trying. I'm actually meant to be filming a vlog tomorrow. Whether I do or I don't, I don't know. For some reason, this is reminding me of Scooby-Doo. I don't know why. Oh my gosh, it kind of looks like a mushroom. Wait, that doesn't look bad. I don't know what color it's going to be. Why is this cute? I want to add some fancy pillars on the corners. This is the biggest build project I have done for a video in a while. I think ever, to be honest. I did like a mall and I've done loads of big projects that I've never posted. Honestly, it's such a waste of time though. Like the amount of stuff I've built that you guys have never seen. I have so many unreleased videos. It's ridiculous. We need some big windows. The issue is I don't know what these rooms are meant to be. So I don't know where needs windows. So what I think I'm going to do is take a screenshot of this front area because I kind of know this is going to be related to the big theater room. But we're going to take a picture of just this area and work out like what should go where and what these rooms are actually going to be. Okay, let's plan this out. So this is going to be the main area. Oh my gosh, I can't write on a laptop. But this is basically going to be where you buy your tickets and your food. We don't really need windows on this bit. We just have the doors at the front. It's these two hallways here. There's like one there and one there and they lead to just this big area. What we could do is make it so there's toilets on both sides. So if we do this, these can be cubicles. That can be one and then we can have a symmetrical one on the other side like this. So we can have these hallways and then we can just have some nice sofas in the hallways. So this wall, we can completely add windows on both of these. Oh my gosh, these lines are so wonky. Let me just write, even though we know what we're doing, I feel like I want to write the words. And then this, I think these are going to be back rooms for like these reception areas. So these are going to be both counters. One of them is going to be food. One of them might be, actually no, because the ticket booth's at the front. So maybe we should have food on one and drinks on the other. So these are going to be like kitchens. This can be the food side. That can be the drink side. These hallways these long ones either side. I don't think we're going to put anything in these. I think the stone on the front here is just going to be maybe some really detailed stonework. So there's just windows on these front bits and then that's pretty much it. So let's add some cute windows. We're going to use my favorites that I use in like every single build, which is these framed windows. I'm just going to make them a bit smaller though. And then I think what we're going to do later on is actually add some proper detailed frames around the windows to make them super cute. Let me do them on this side. Oh, what happened to the wall? And then I'm also going to do them on the top floor as well. I don't know what we're gonna have up here to be honest. I'll worry about that later. Let's start on the inside. Now for the floor, I wanna have a cool tile pattern like this. And then in some places I'll maybe have like some heart shapes, but I think I'm gonna do those kind of on top. Let me just add this floor quickly because this is gonna take like five minutes. So all of the floor is now individual tiles. I'm just gonna color it. So we are gonna do, I think, white marble and maybe a light pink. Actually, no, we are gonna do white and then kind of like this grayish black. There we go. I don't know if I like it. I might change it a bit later. We need to add the counters. So I'm just gonna use the basic counters, but then we are gonna add decorations on the front because I wanna make them look really cool. I kind of want them to be round, like the corners of them. So I'm trying to leave space to be able to do that. Oh no, it's just made it square. Okay, we might have to do a custom counter. So what I did next was build the custom counters and these were made out of basic shapes It's mostly square basic shapes just resize and then for the round corners I used the cylinder basic shape and just kind of pieced it all together I then added a bit of structure to the build so like the archway doors I did some work on the concrete design outside making it kind of look like there was like diamond shapes on the floor and stuff And that was pretty much it. Okay, so I've made a little bit of progress But what we're actually gonna go and do is go over to my detective agency quickly because I think we're gonna gonna do the color scheme of the walls and stuff pretty much the same as that. My detective agency follows the very kind of palace theme with the stone walls so I need to go and refresh my memory quickly. This is the first time you guys have seen the new detective agency as well except that kind of one angle I use in my update videos because I haven't actually finished it yet so this isn't a finished build. I'm working on it I'll do a tour eventually but yeah I'm just gonna show you the kind of color scheme I've done for this in terms of walls. I mean it's just white and pink but I just want to show you a little bit because I'm gonna take quite a lot of inspiration from this. Yeah as 
as you can see, it's a mess from the outside. We're gonna sneak in this wall. So it has like pink stone walls with kind of white accents. And this also has these arch ceilings I did with the structural pieces. And I think I'm gonna kind of do it the same as this. So the ceiling in the main room of the theater and the hallway and the entrance hall have very tall ceilings. And I think it would be cool to kind of add a big arch ceiling like this. So the outside's gonna be white stone, but the inside's mainly gonna be pink stone with kind of white details. But yeah, if you haven't seen the detective agency, this is what it looks like so far. We have like different rooms and stuff. I won't spoil it yet. Oh yeah, and it has pink tiles too. I don't know whether to do this in the theater, but who knows? Let's head back. Why are my graphics turned off? I've just noticed my graphics are kind of down. Okay, that's better. It looks prettier now. Let's hop into build mode and we are gonna color in here. So I think we're gonna go for this pink. I'm just gonna color everything quickly. And then I think we're gonna start on kind of like the proper kind of decorations in here, especially the counter areas, like the food areas. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I don't know how I'm gonna lay it out because every time I think about it, I'm thinking of like kind of like a cinema, you know, where you get the popcorn and stuff, but I don't know what to do for it. I just wanna color these walls first. Oh my gosh, guys, I have news actually. So all the clips you've just seen were filmed a couple days ago. It's been like two days later. I filmed my videos across like a week, my big main build videos anyways. And this morning I got a new hamster. Little bit of a backstory if you don't really keep up with me outside of just the channel. Like on my other socials, I had a hamster called Miko who I got in 2021. She was a little dwarf hamster. She was super cute. Sadly, she passed away in October of last year because obviously she was old. She was like two and a half and they only live till they're like two. So Miko passed away and I was really sad, but I didn't want to get a new hamster yet. For the past couple of weeks, I've kind of been like, oh, I don't know if I want to get a new one. Like I didn't know what to do. And then this morning I opened Facebook and someone is giving away this like massive hamster cage and like a bunch of hamster supplies. So I was like, oh my gosh, you know what? I'm going to take this as a sign. And I picked it up and then I went straight to the pet shop and I got a new hamster who looks exactly the same as Miko because they're like the same type of hamster. But now I have the dilemma of not knowing what to call this thing. And we were going to call it Iggy. But when it was in the cage, because I put it in its cage and everything, I keep automatically calling it Miko. And I kind of want to call it Miko. Just the same name as my old hamster. Oh, this count is glitchy. Uh oh. I don't know what to do for the colors. But yeah, if you have any cute hamster names, leave them down below. I think we're going to kind of take a few days to think about it. But I do like Iggy. Iggy is a very cute name. Iggy's the name of that Moshi Monsters character. I used to love Moshi Monsters, honestly. What I think we're going to do is actually do the ceiling. Because I feel like once I have the ceiling in, I can really do the structure properly. And we're going to do the arch ceilings. The ceiling from the outside might look a little bit messy, but we'll deal with that. I just really want a nice curved ceiling. It's just gonna take a while because obviously I have to do it in these individual structural things. All right, here we go. We've done kind of like the curved roof. Now I have to like make these pillars higher because they kind of just go to nowhere. I think we're gonna go for more of a light wood counter because I feel like the dark wood is quite a contrast. I don't know. I'm being so indecisive about this build already. It's driving me crazy. Let me just do my usual trick of adding light boxes everywhere so I can see how this would look with nice lighting because it feels a lot easier to build when I do that. So I'm just gonna add these everywhere. Anyways, this is gonna be the drinks area. We need to try and make a food and drink stand but make it still look very fancy but I'm just gonna grab like blenders and stuff and where are the coffee machines? A coffee machine, maybe the slush machines, maybe they could finally have a home instead of being in my inventory but I just don't know how to lay this out like this wall. Maybe this can just have like a big menu board on it which I think would be kind of cute. Hang on let me get a decal. Decal. Everyone bullies me for how I say decal and then I bring it up in like every video. So I finally figured out what to do for the counter areas. I haven't finished them, but as you can see here, I've added kind of like stone details around here. These are with bookends. I'm going to talk through how I did everything in a second. Kind of like this big stone display. This is the drinks area. Honestly, I don't like it. Like it was so difficult to work out where to put stuff because I just feel like all the drink machines and stuff don't look very good, but it took me ages to work out how to lay it out. So I'm going to have to leave it. I don't know. I'm just struggling so much with this area. But yeah, basically all these ordeals 
details, I'm going to show you what I made them out of. These are all little bookends on top of a basic shape so you can transform them and they make such good details on like stone as you can see down here. Um, what else did I do? I just kind of added random things like this carpet, we have these kind of little fences. Mainly I just spent like two hours, yes I mean it, two hours working out how to lay this out and it still doesn't even look that impressive. Like I genuinely got so stuck on this, it is ridiculous. But we're just going to add some things. So what I think I want to do actually is add some stools just kind of along the side of the drinks area so people can come and sit here if they like and then on the other side as well it's always hard to see what direction these are facing we're gonna do them on this one as well so each little kind of display they're both exactly the same pretty much i copied and pasted everything over onto this side and we are basically just gonna finish off the food counters and then i think for this video all we have left to do is this big room the front of the building we're gonna get this done and then the bathrooms and stuff down these hallways so we're pretty much just doing like the entrance way oh and the ticket booth we're gonna do the ticket booth as well which is gonna look super cute i actually added these pillars on the front on the outside to add some detail but let's get this done so this is obviously the queue area what we have to do basically is just make this look kind of cute oh my gosh also you can resize this pillar to be like these little stubby like pillar things like tiny ones and this is so good for like decorations oh my gosh wait could we do it like that or does that look like too much i think what we're gonna do is i might do the little pillars on the corners but have like big plants because i've just been looking at some inspo images and they kind of have very luxurious plants and I feel like these new Bloxburg plants could look pretty cool if we made it look like this is a vase. If that makes sense, like, could that look kind of fancy? I am in my plant era at the moment. I never use plants and I've just randomly started using loads. But yeah, I'm just thinking if we build this up, oh my gosh, wait, that's so cute. And then what we could do to make this look like an actual kind of vase or a plant pot, we could make these little dirt cylinders and basically put them on top so it looks like it's an actual plant pot. See how cute does that look? just because I feel like we need something quite big on these corners. I feel like that kind of works. It's the high ceilings that is the main issue, I think. I also kind of wanted to put a fountain in the middle, but I don't know if that's just gonna look stupid. Let me have a little test. Like, see, well, that one's way too big for starters. A little one could kind of be cute, actually. But then what do we do about the carpet down the middle? Is there enough room to walk around the fountain? Is this too much? I like it. It kind of interrupts the flow of being able to walk on the carpet. Maybe we put it, like, up here instead. I kind of want to add little menus on this. Like we just need something on the actual countertop where people are sitting. Maybe in the frames we could do, you know when menus are kind of like stood up? Like if I do this, instead of it looking like it's in a picture frame, we could put two back to back and it could look like a little menu in there. I think that's kind of cute. I'm also adding a bit of gold into this build. I don't like gold, but I feel like it kind of works. But these can be our little menu stands. By the way, if you have any criticisms for this build as well, because I'm doing a part two, you can leave them down below. And then in part two, I can kind of like add the things you guys have said, okay, maybe change this. So you can give me criticisms and I will actually like listen to some of them. If, if I think it's a good idea, then we can change things. Should we have a plant pot in the middle? No, that'll be too much. Do we need anything else here? So we have our coffee machines. We have have a shelf with like kind of cups and like coffee jars and stuff so that's all stuff to make coffee with and then we have this little blender and ice cubes oh wait i want to add a fruit bowl actually on top like that anyways yeah we have a fridge and then we have slushy makers does this look okay please comment down below if this looks okay because i'm genuinely i feel like the arrangement of this is a bit strange and i honestly don't know what to do let me know if the appliance arrangement is okay apart from that this bit here will have stone detail so at the end of this video what i'm gonna do is add a bunch of stone details all over the walls like little details and symbols just to make it look really kind of carved into and really detailed because it's going to take ages i'm just going to time lapse it maybe or just do it off camera because all i'm going to be doing is drawing on with structural pieces i really like the plant pot idea i think it looks super fancy i kind of want to do it with flowers though i ran out of tulips in my inventory i normally have like hundreds in my inventory but i did so many builds with them that i used all my bouquets so we're going to grab some quickly i need to stock up for springtime let's see if a tulip bouquet would look cute in this. How we're gonna do this is just place four of these on top of each other, which is how I do my custom bouquets, obviously over
over an actual vase normally like that so i figured out a way to kind of make the flower vases look super cute so instead of just placing the flowers on top i actually added hang on let me show you if i can move one of these um so if i pull one of these out as you can see the bouquets are on a basic shape that i've colored to be the dirt and i basically just put them all on basic shapes and then transform them into place just so we could kind of have this big bouquet and it looks so good i actually did a poll on my discord server i asked you guys if you preferred the flowers or the plants and like around 100 of you said flowers so we're doing the flowers i actually added them on this side and then over here i've added them on this side as well so the flowers are all done and yeah if you want to make them yourself then all i did was just kind of add them on a basic shape and then transform them into place each one has seven bouquets so i did four around the bottom then kind of two more like on a layer and then one right in the middle at the top to just to kind of create this big dome anyways we are gonna get on to finishing the food area now if you look over here i've placed down a bunch of appliances so we have the ice cream machines we have this chocolate fountain like cotton candy popcorn a bunch of stuff i think i was saying earlier in this video i don't know if i cut it out but i was talking about the cinemas and how they have popcorn and i was like well it's a theater so we can't do that and then i realized you do get popcorn at the theater as well so i don't know where i was going with that but anyways i also have this drinks machine and i was like why didn't i use this should we add this in i was thinking if i move the coffee machines we could put this here because basically you see this little shelf with the little kind of glasses on i only added that to fill up space but i'm thinking if we add that there move this along a bit we get rid of all of this we can then add the coffee machines as a little kind of like setup in the shelves i feel like that kind of looks cleaner do we think this looks good i feel like that's kind of an improvement anyways let's get on to this side because this board is taking far too long and i've barely done anything so for the ice cream machines obviously these are too big to kind of go on here so what we're gonna do is take away this counter and we're actually gonna put them here so they're kind of in the counter so if i put this back as you can see they're kind of like the perfect level and then for the chocolate fountain because the chocolate fountain is so cute i think we're gonna add some little bowls of fruit around it as well kind of like a little setup um let me just add everything else oh my gosh you can see the candy floss machine so we have the tabletop candy floss machine and the tabletop popcorn machine i also have these standing up ones because you can see here but i think we're gonna put this in the main hall in the next video so you can kind of get snacks without having to come Come all the way out here but yeah this is the popcorn machine we're gonna have candy corn i mean candy floss i always say candy corn candy floss there i did have these like food warming trays and stuff but i feel like we don't need them now like i feel like there's enough stuff here it's kind of more like sweet treats instead i don't think we're gonna have like serious food like this so i'm gonna get rid of these and then here we can just have a big chocolate fountain display actually i might put the candy floss thing up there and then this can just be completely like chocolate fountain and like fruit okay we're gonna have to get fruit right let me place down a fridge and some things over here so we can gather this fruit um oh that's not the garden section okay so we have berries i'm gonna add some berries then strawberries we're also gonna do like marshmallows and stuff so i just want to have like bowls or something of like things you can put in the fountain i was thinking we put it here and we kind of have like a little setup where people can do it but i really like the clean look of the counters like the main counter area and then having everything at the back so that's why we're doing it here anyways we have strawberries we have berries do people put pineapple in chocolate fountains yeah people do pineapple as well so we can do some pineapple rings the pineapple rings are gonna give me flashbacks to can you remember my monopoly video when we used it as the money hang on what should we use for bowls do we have to use the salad bowl hack again or would these be big enough i feel like these will be okay wait let me kind of add them okay they're kind of small actually maybe we can do a mix basically oh i'm gonna have to explain the salad bowl thing again every single time i do this hack i explain what it is because i feel like if you're new to my videos and this is the first one you're watching you're gonna be so confused basically in Bloxburg's build mode the only bowl you can place down from build mode is these little ones here but if you're making kind of things that need a big bowl or like a mixing bowl type size then obviously it's not gonna work but if you make a salad in oh wait I don't have any counters uh oh oh I forgot these were fake counters oh hang on anyways as I was saying if you want to make a bigger bowl you can grab the salad bowls like you can make a salad and then you can take all the salad out of the bowl and you can use that bowl in build mode for builds to have like a bigger bowl it's one of my favorite hacks would you guys be 
interested in a video where I show you guys all of my really favorite build hacks that are just completely random because we have the salad bowl, we have like the bouquet hack, the little bookends I use for detail, that's kind of a hack. I don't know, should I just compile all of the hacks that I use on a daily basis into one video? Like the glossy hack guide. Sounds a bit sinister actually, I might have to call it something else. The glossy build tricks guide. I feel like I'm so talkative today. It's not even like I'm filming this in one day. It's been across like four days and I feel like every time I film, I'm having a nice little chat with you guys. This reminds me of my smoothie shop video. You know when we did all the fruit like in the little like shelves? Oh, that video is one of my favorites. I love that build. I really miss Los Angeles. I don't know if we have enough fruit, but we're just gonna see what happens. So we have, oh my gosh, I didn't take the pineapple rings off the plate. Okay, my brain is not working today. Anyways, here we have our fruit in our bowls. So what I'm gonna do is move this over here. Let me move the bowls into place because we're gonna have a mixture of the big salad bowls and then the little, oh, I just moved everything and then the little bowls, just like this, like a little arrangement. And then I'm gonna grab a, where is it? The glass. And this is gonna be like a little kind of cup where we're gonna store the skewers. So I'm gonna put some like basic shapes, I mean, structurals to look like skewers, but we're gonna do all the fruit first. So what we wanna do for this is to be able to transform the fruit and move it into place specifically, we're gonna grab a bunch of these transparent basic shape cubes that I've sized really small and then place our fruit individually on the basic shapes. Oh my gosh, we actually got quite a lot of strawberries. And then what we wanna do is transform the basic shape and put these into the bowls like this. That kind of looks okay. Then we're gonna add the blueberries. There we go. And then in this big bowl, we're gonna have marshmallows. So to make marshmallows, what I usually use is the this like rounded cylinder and you just wanna make them really small. Okay, you can't make them that small. They kind of look like, you know, the American giant marshmallows. Let me just place a bunch of these and then we're gonna transform these into the bowl. One last marshmallow. This one can go in the middle like this. There's our marshmallow bowl and the pineapple is gonna go in this little bowl over here. I've only put three pineapple rings in the bowl because they're kind of big and it kind of like is difficult to fit them together. But this is what it's looking like. And now let's do our skewers. To make these, I'm talking you guys through this because I feel like this is a fun hack to do for like summer and stuff. To make these, I'm just gonna take a small round rod and kind of draw them on like this. And then I'm gonna color these wood. I'm just stealing that texture from over there. And then we're gonna transform these and put them in the little glass. They kind of look like breadsticks to be honest. And there we go, we are all done. Oh my gosh, I'm actually so proud of this. Let me just paint all the appliances quickly. I'm just gonna steal the same color scheme. I think the food sets are all done. I can get rid of this fridge now. So what we're gonna do now is I think the bathrooms, oh my gosh, this actually looks so good. This is coming along really nicely. Anyways, yeah, we're gonna do the bathrooms. I'm gonna show you guys me doing one of them and then I'm gonna do the other one off camera and I'm just gonna make them symmetrical so you won't be missing out on anything. In the bathrooms, we're still gonna have like little tiles but they're just not gonna be as big as these ones. I don't wanna just continue the floor in every room so I'm gonna do like little square ones. For these bathroom doors for like the stalls, what we're gonna do is actually a custom wall type thing. So if you get this modern fence, well you can get any fence that's tall enough really, you can then use in fence gates the modern panel gate. And it looks like a fence gate but if you repaint this thing, you can actually make it look like a bathroom stall or just a door in general. Like this is a really good door as you can see. It's just like another door design. It's really cute and I got inspired to use these as a bathroom door a few years ago by my friend Nat. And then we're gonna do them down the side as well. So we have these little bathroom stalls. As you can see, they don't go all the way up to the ceiling, so they're really good. I want to use that new kind of sink unit, these ones, the wall mounted ones, because I haven't used them yet and they're really cute. We're gonna use the little pillars that we use for the plant pots to kind of decorate the sink area. Now we need toilets. Um, is there any fancy ones? Oh, there is. <gasps> I forgot we have hand dryers. Oh my gosh, okay, wait. We're gonna put hand dryers in the thing. Oh wait, we can't put the toilet roll on the walls because they're fences. We're gonna have to use the cute stands instead, which is okay, because they're fancy too. Let me put one of those in each. I feel like every sink having an individual soap thing looks really weird, but I'm gonna add a vase of tulips in a second. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna add one in the middle on each side instead. There's our tulips. Maybe we need some candles in here. Oh, we could do candles next to the soap. Oh goodness, that's very orange. A very fancy bathroom. We need rugs and we need like carpets. Should we do some hot ones? <laughs> the hand dryers look so out of place. I feel like we need towels instead or something. We can just have a fancy towel rack on either side instead. I feel like this looks kind of okay for a fancy bathroom. So what I'm gonna do is quickly copy this to the other side. And then once that's done, we are gonna start work on the ticket booth and the outside of the theater. As you can see, I'd have done a little bit of work. It's giving kind of castle vibes 
we'll go over it in a second, but yeah, I'm just gonna go and practically copy and paste the bathroom. I was editing this video and I realized just how long this was already, so let's speed it up a little bit. To finish the first part of this build, what I did now was the ticket booth, and I didn't actually need to put a ton of stuff into this, because it's literally just a ticket booth, no one's really gonna go inside. But I did build this little shelf inside with like a cash register and a phone, and I used this radio thing to try and make what looks like a ticket printer. I don't know, I just tried to make it look like there was some sort of machine in there. And then I copied and pasted this onto the front one too, so we just had these two small office areas inside. And then I moved on to the build details. So on the curved roof, I added like this little spiky thing with some hearts on top, just as a little design detail. And then this structural piece around the edge because the whole curve was looking pretty plain. And then finally, I added the main roof onto the top, but quickly realized it completely messed all the lighting up inside. So I then had to spend ages adding lights like inside of the walls and stuff just to kind of hide them to make the lighting go back to normal without having to add loads of visible lights everywhere. And then after that, I just added a bunch of random stuff. So I added the frames on the windows using round structural rods and hearts. And then I just put stone details on like the big plain walls of the build with more structural parts and things like hearts and crown pillows and even the bow Christmas item to look like little stone carvings. They're also useful to make these little details as well. And when that was all done, I did some gardening. My favorite item to use for gardening is this bush here with all the flowers. So I added those as well as resized normal bushes and just lots of different plants. I might add some flowers towards the end in the next part, but for now I just added like plants and bushes and rocks in all the dirt areas. And finally I added some details on the inside walls, not many though, just this like big swirl detail on the main wall with a bow and every single time I was adding these swirls they just look like moustaches. And then I added some hearts on the other wall which you can't really see, but that was pretty much it. So now it is time for the final tour of what we have done so far. So it's time for the tour of part one, ignore the decals, I mean ignore the decals. I'll be doing those at the end of next video when the build's like fully finished so they're not done yet but let's take a look at the outside first first up we have our pathway i don't know how i'm feeling about it like i think it's really pretty but i don't know if it looks quite out of place also i got rid of the weird car parks we might add them back i don't know but for now just ignore the design of the sides it looks a bit weird but we have the main kind of front all done i absolutely love the details at the top i think they look super cute like look at this i didn't want to add too many but yeah i really like all the sides i think it looks so cool i think my favorite bit is definitely the kind of this thing. I don't know what you call it. You know where they put the text? I think in the next part, we'll add some writing on there. But this is the exterior. And then of course we have our ticket booth. So you can go here, you can line up and get tickets. There is actually a way in. So if you look here, I did add a secret door so I can come in here and I can sit down and give people their tickets. But yeah, in here, we obviously just have these two little benches. Let me sneak back out. Anyways, let's head inside. So inside we have space for posters. This is the main area area and oh my goodness I actually posted a teaser of this on Twitter and Discord and someone was like oh my gosh it looks like a hotel and now I can't unsee it it looks like a hotel lobby if you guys like this kind of big project then maybe I'll do a hotel next but this is the main area to get your food and drinks in let's start with this hallway so this is the left hallway these doors actually go to nothing I just kind of added them to fill space for now but we have our first bathroom which looks a little bit like this this is the one I built off camera so this is the flipped one and yeah we just have little bathroom stalls the bathrooms are super simple but they're kind of cute so that is bathroom number one and then in the main area of course here we have our food stall with our kind of chocolate fountain area the popcorn oh my gosh wait we should put some popcorn in there i didn't do that yet hmm which one i think we're gonna do the buttered popcorn i do actually have a bunch of peppermint popcorn stocked up because it's pink so i was like oh my gosh that's perfect so maybe we could bring some of that over as well it's over on my food stock plot there we go it's all full of popcorn oh my gosh i didn't put any details on this kind of blank bit i'll do that next video but yeah you can just, you know, you can sit here, you can chill. Oh, oh my gosh, the seats are sideways. <laughs> Oopsies. Anyways, yeah, that's counter number one. Over here, we have the drinks. Are these ones sideways as well? Yep, they are. Okay. Oh, these ones are fine though. Here is our drinks counter with just a bunch of drinks. I definitely prefer the food counter, but I do like the little ice cube tray. So up here, we have this big bow detail on the wall. We have some elevators. Obviously, there's nothing down here yet, but I think this looks so kind of fancy. It truly is giving like glossy palace vibes. And then finally, Finally, we just have the other bathrooms down here. So we really haven't done that much, even though this has taken me so long. You've seen these ones, of course. We just have the other set of bathrooms, which look exactly the same. And that is pretty much it. Like I said, obviously the main part of this build is the front, which we've done. But apart from that, the main part is gonna be in here, which is gonna be a massive project. I'm hoping to have the part two out by next week or the week after. At the latest, it'll be like end of March, beginning of April, because I do have quite a lot of like Easter videos planned. So I honestly
honestly don't know when I'm gonna get this finished, but this is gonna be quite a big video project. And that is it for today's video. So that is part one. Hang on, we need to find the good lighting. That is part one of the theater build. I'm having a lot of fun doing this. It's quite time consuming because this is quite a big project compared to usual, but I think it looks super cute so far. And I can't wait to see what you guys think. Obviously, please let me know down below if there's anything you wanna see me add or you want me to change. And I will see you guys later. As usual, a huge shout out to my channel members. I love you all so much. And in general, I love you all so much, Glossettes. Have an amazing day. XOXO, Glossy Girl.